today I'm going to talk about the different kind of bicycle stand. We have a three different kind of bicycle stand. I'm going to go through to those three different kind of bicycle stand and I will let you know which one is the best for bicycle touring and bikepacking and why. First stand, it's called click stand. It's this one here. It weights 80 to 90 gram only. It folds like this, like your tent pole, and it comes as small as this. It's amazing and you can put it like a, basically wherever you can keep it. I usually keep it in this a small snack bag on my handlebar. I just usually put it there and I keep it there. They also come with the holder so you can attach it to your frame if you want to. But there's a many reason why in my opinion this stand is the best. Let's go through to them. First of all, the click stand can stand any kind of load you have on your bicycle. Also, click stand won't damage your frame regardless of your frame material. Unlike the other stands, this is really, really important. I've been cycling for last five years and I've been using this click stand. I have used it all across Africa. I have used it on my tour uh, uh, across Finland in winter, in the snow. It's just no problem. This works. And my bicycle have been very, very heavy. And there's no issue with this stand handling the weight. Because basically, the way this stand works, you just place it on your frame, usually on top tube. But now, since I have a frame bag on my top tube, so I do not put it there. I put it just here. You place it there and you bike leans a little bit towards this stand and then most of the weight goes basically with your tire goes to the ground and there's not really so much weight on the stand and it's amazing it can handle anything also you need to engage your brakes with the small spongy loop and the bicycle doesn't move anywhere as you can see also you can use this stand in any kind of place. If you are on a town, you can use it. If you are on a, I don't know, uh, in a nature, you're cycling off road in, a, in the middle of nowhere, you can use it. It doesn't need a flat ground, unlike the other kind of stands for bicycle. They usually need a pretty flat ground. But this one, if you're on an uphill, you're on a downhill, if you're on a sand, you need to be careful. You cannot let the stand, uh, the click stand to sink inside the ground because if it sinks, it will break down from the bottom over there. Here is a good example, but luckily I didn't broke my stand. I didn't put anything under the click stand and as you can see, it went into the sand and now look, I'm getting there. Honey, got oh. that. So in that kind of uh, cases, I usually carry a small plate, can be whatever, or I use my famous Crocs. I just put the Crocs under the stand and that's it. I'm good to go. Also with the click stand, I can change the place of the stand. Unlike the other two stands. Here, imagine if here there is a hole or a soft ground, I can place the stand over here. No problem. It works. It's not an issue at all. Or I can change the side of the stand. I can put the stand in the other side of bicycle. Again, it's not a problem. Or if, let's imagine, there's strong wind coming from that direction. Again, I can put the stand in this direction so bike does not uh, flips over. So it's absolutely amazing. You can put it wherever. I also sometimes just place it like this on a tree or on a wall, wherever. It's amazing. And another good thing about this stand is when you engage your brakes, if your brakes are not well adjusted, you will notice it because your bike is going to move. And I forgot, actually it is compatible with any kind of uh, bicycle frame material. 
if you have a carbon bike, if you have an aluminium bike, or whatever, if you have, I don't know, tandem bicycle, if you have a cargo bicycle, whatever you have, any kind of bicycle with any kind of frame material, this stand will work because you will just can find a place in your frame to place it. So that's really amazing. But with the other kind of stand, you do not have it that possibility. An important point about the click stand, you need to make sure this U head you see over here, it will fit your top tube. If it's bigger than your top tube, it's all right, but it cannot be smaller than your top tube. Because if it is smaller than your top tube, it's going to put a pressure like this, you can see, and this will break down. So when you are ordering the click stand, they are going to actually ask from you the dimension of your top tube, and they will send you a U-head, which will fit your uh, top tube. Also in case, for any reason, if you break and bend the sections, you can order these sections separately. Also, actually, you can fix these sections if you broke it. You can have a, a little bit slightly uh, just bigger uh, aluminium tube and you can put it on the top and you can fix it. It's not a problem. Exactly in the same way you fix your broken tent pole. Very, very simple. And another tip with the click stand, I would recommend to have a voile strap and then you can lock your front, um, front wheel so it doesn't go left and right. With click stand, exactly same as your tent pole, once in a maybe six months or one year, depending on how much you use it, you need to change the spongy rope inside your click stand. And you can order this actually online uh, from the click stand's website they sell all the spare part also like at the end of it they do sell it and each section of it you can order it and if you're wondering they have a two different thickness for the click stand and this is the thickest one i have no, i think it's called max but what is the downside of click stand in the town it's a little bit inconvenient you can use it uh, I have used it in a town, but really it's not the best in a town because when I put it in a town like this, usually it sticks a little bit too much out uh, towards the left or right from your bicycle. And if you live in a big town like, I don't know, Paris or Helsinki or whatever, usually the bicycles, they are just next to each other and somebody might touch it, uh, touch your stand and your bike is going to go, go down. Also with click stand, it takes a little bit of time till you park your bicycle. Let's say maybe around 15, 20, 30 seconds. This depends on the place you are parking your bicycle. So it's not as fast as, for example, the rare kick stand. But for me personally, this is not a big deal. Also, another downside of it is you might lose it. I personally have lost it till now twice but in both cases I just took the piece of wood and I used it as a stand and I was good to go no problem so I really do not recommend this stand for commuting but for a bicycle touring and a bike packing this is the ultimate stand in my opinion if you think differently just let me know in the comment section below the next stand which this bicycle have that stand is the rare kickstand, which is the most common stand also. This stand, in my opinion, it's a fantastic stand for commuting. But when it comes to the bicycle touring with a loaded bike and a bike packing, in my opinion, it's not the best. Now I'm going to explain why. First of all, I have used this stand on my first touring bike for almost around, I would say, eight years or nine years and I have had many issues with them. First thing, they do break down. No matter how good these stands are, how well made they are, 
they do break down. The second reason is when you have a loaded bicycle, this stand puts a lot of pressure on your, this part of your frame. And I have seen a bicycle which the frame does break down from here because of the stand. Another thing is the rear kick stand, usually the average weight of it is around, let's say, I think, would say between three to 400 grams. So it's around 300 gram or I don't know, let's say 250 gram heavier than uh, the click stand. Another reason again, you need a more or less a flat ground. If you're in an uphill, if you're in a downhill, it's not as convenient as a click stand. So basically you need to adjust it and find the right place uh, for the stand uh, to put it. So I do really not recommend this stand for a bicycle touring and a bike packing. But if you're commuting, it's a fantastic stand. If you're using this stand still for a bicycle touring and bike packing, I really do recommend use the spongy loops and engage your brakes. That gives extra stability to the bicycle while parking. That's really, really important. And the third kind of stand called central double leg stand. Uh, the, I mean, different brand, they might put a different name, so. But it has a two legs and it goes in the middle of your bicycle, almost behind your bottom bracket. Many actually motorbikes, especially in old days, they had a, that kind of stand. It's very durable, it's very strong stand, it can hold a heavy load, but it's very heavy. It's almost around one kilogram. Also, it needs just a flat, totally flat ground in order to work properly. And other thing is, also you need a frame which is designed for that stand. By the design, I mean it has a place over here for the double leg stand. And if your bicycle frame is not designed specifically for the double leg stand, uh, the stand will hurt your frame if you put it over there. I have tried with the two of the bicycles uh, before with the uh, Surely Long Howl Trucker and with the VSF TX400, with both of them, stand did start to hurt the frame, bend the frame from the bottom. Also it never worked properly because when I was cycling with the stand, the stand always uh, used to move towards the right side or the left side, so it was very very annoying. Yeah, and I find it pretty, to be honest, useless when it comes for a bicycle touring or a bike packing. But in my opinion, best use for the double leg central stand is the cargo bikes. I think that stand is a really, really a good stand for a cargo bikes because you are usually using the cargo bikes on the town and most of the cargo bikes actually their frame is designed for this stand. So you just can put it there and it will do a fantastic job. The conclusion, as I mentioned in the beginning, I highly would recommend a uh, click stand for bicycle touring and bike packing. But I want to mention here, this video is not supported by a click stand. I have bought my first click stand and click stand has not paid me anything for this video. This video is totally independent. But the stand is such an amazing stand. I would like to share with all of you my experience about it. But also many of you have asked um, from me, what is that stick payment you have on your bicycle? Uh, when you park, you use it. So now you know that called click stand. <laughs> also, the brand is actually a small brand from US and I really love to support uh, small brands. So I put the link for the click stand on the description below. It's not affiliated link or anything. Just I put the link to the website uh, of the click stand so you can order it from there if you want to. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed of the video. If you did or if you didn't, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you find it useful, I hope you did, you can share it. Right now, I am in 
Philippines and cycling uh, around the Philippines for a while. Then I will go back to Finland and I promise you guys I will keep up with the vlogs. I know vlogs have been late and I'm sorry for that, but they are going to be published soon. Much love to all of you. See you in the next video and remember to subscribe so I can keep making these videos. First day of cycling in Namibia. Bye for now.